Alrighty folks, today I'm going to show you guys how to use an alternate method to clean a switch. So in this case we're working on my Fetters weather wheel, my 1965 weather wheel. And we found out what was going on, why the compressor wasn't coming on and the switch is sticky. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to fix this. This is a simple, easy fix. So I'm going to set you guys down right here so you can see this. And I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do. So tool you're going to need for a job is an impact driver to um, take out the screws. So we're going to go ahead and remove the two screws. Okay, so that was pretty simple. So now we got our switch out. So guys, this is our switch right here, by the way. Yeah, right now it's in the off position. So, actually no, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, it's in the off position, so that's good. Anyway, this is our switch, so we're gonna go ahead and use rubbing alcohol to um, clean the terminals. So rubbing alcohol I'm going to use for this. I'm using 70% alcohol here. So 70% rubbing alcohol. And what we're going to do is I've got a couple Q-tips somewhere. If not, I'll have to run up and get some. Anyway, yes, got a couple right here. So basically, you don't want to put too much rubbing alcohol on the switch. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use rubbing alcohol to clean it. So you guys see that, right? Those are a little bit dirty, so we're going to go ahead and clean them with rubbing alcohol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my alcohol. I'm going to open the bottle here, and I'm going to dip the Q-tip in the rubbing alcohol, and we're going to put it on the terminals. Okay, so watch what we're going to do. So we're going to go just like this. We're going to, um, I'm just going to gently dab the alcohol onto the switch. Onto each terminal here. And if necessary, guys, we can always change out the Q-tip if needed. Or use the other side. So we're going to do the same thing here on these two. You guys can see how dirty they are. So we're going to do the whole thing. Yes, guys, I'm doing all four terminals here. So you guys can see what I'm doing here. So I'm gently rubbing the switch with rubbing alcohol and that should clean our terminal connections so guys what we're going to do is we're going to set off to the side for a minute and um, we're going to do the same on the um, on the wires themselves to clean them out a little bit so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you guys right here for this so you can see me so you can see this better Okay, I don't know how well you guys are going to see that, but here's our wires right here. So what we're going to do, so we're going to do the same thing as uh, we did before, where we're going to take a Q-tip, dip it in rubbing alcohol, and what we're going to do is we're gently going to we're going to wipe each terminal to clean it. So we're just going to dab it like this. You guys can see there, it takes it right off. So we're going to do that one there. Gonna do this one here. So notice guys, I do not have the unit plugged in. I have it unplugged and the power turned off to the circuit. Sometimes you have to give it a fresh stab. 
So we're going to do the same thing here. So you guys can see that right there. Now what the rubbing alcohol is going to do is it's going to get rid it's going to take the dirt off. It's going to clean the terminal. So you guys can see there what I'm doing. I'm just using I'm just using the rubbing alcohol in order to clean the switch terminals and the um, switch leads as well along with our um, power cord leads. So we're going to do the same thing here this time on our power cord. So check this out guys. I'll show you what we're doing. So what we're doing you guys can see I'm just gently rubbing it in, in um, I'm just gently brushing the terminals basically to redip. So you guys can see I'm being very careful, you know, not to make contact with the terminals. Or um, I'm being very careful not to overdo it. Okay, so now guys, now that we got that all taken care of, what we're going to do, oh, we got one more guys, hold on, sorry about that, got one more we got to clean, there we go, alright guys, so now we're going to go ahead and let those dry, and um, So what we're going to do here guys is we're going to remove some of the junk, we're going to remove some of the dirt and debris in the um, switch. So anyway, let me show you, look at all that dirt guys, that is what's going to cause, that's what's going to cause it to fail. So what I'm doing is I'm using my um, a flat tip um, impact driver bit, you know, just to gently get rid of the dirt. You guys can see how much dirt is on the switch there, so we're going to, you know, get rid of the dirt, like so, and we're going to pull that out, or just push that out for a minute so we can finish. Now, no, guys, it's not going to be 100%, but it'll make it easier to clean the switch itself and the, the inner workings. So yes guys, this is also part of the HVAC um, field, you know, where you're cleaning switches and stuff. So anyway, now that our switch unit is clean, what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, we're going to do the same thing we did before, where we're going to use the rubbing alcohol in order to now I'll clean out that, you know, inner terminal or the inner workings of the switch. So let's just uh, clean that up. Okay. See, so I can see what I'm doing here is I'm just using a flat bladed, a flat impact driver bit in order to clean the switch out. Now what we're going to do, hopefully you guys saw that, is now we're going to go ahead and lightly brush the switch terminals here with the rubbing alcohol. And yes guys, I did take a picture of the wiring diagram, so that way we have an idea what wires go where. And you, as you guys can see, we're taking, a lot of corro we're taking a lot of corrosion off just by using the rubbing alcohol. See, so yeah, I can see I'm, I'm just I'm just rubbing it lightly because I don't want to I don't want to get it dirty, but I'm rubbing it lightly just to clean it, so that way our switch contact terminals are clean. 
So now, guys, what we're going to do now that that's all taken care of, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and push all the buttons. You guys can see I'm doing it in an alternate sequence. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this again. So... All right, so we're going to go ahead and do it again. You guys can see I'm doing both sides. And this is going to help get rid of any corrosion that might be causing a switch, the switch to stick. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do it one more time. You guys can see I'm not ha no it's start it's working better already. All right. So All right, I hope you guys found that one helpful. Um we were both working on um you know, in this case, guys, um, you know, the air conditioner guy, he's probably done this before. You know, and now I just got to do it, you know, clean the switch out real good and clean the terminals and the wire leads. So now, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to have a part two of this video where we're going to show you how to rewire it. So, actually, guys, let me show you how to do that here. So let's put you guys back here. So you guys, I'm going to show you guys each lead as I work. So note guys, power is turned off. You know, it, the unit is unplugged. And I also shut off power to the circuit at the service panel. Alright, so what we're going to do. Here, give me a sec here guys. We're going we're gonna to refer to the wiring diagram as we do this. Okay, so... All right, so guys, just watch watch as I go here. So you guys are going to see me looking at the wiring diagram. So our first lead is going to go here. So on our switch here, our lead is going to go right here. So this one's going to connect like that. This one is going to connect over here. Our power in. So you guys notice how I don't have to pull as hard in order to disconnect any um, leads or to um, disconnect them. So no, guys, they're making firm electrical contact now, which is good. Okay. Okay, guys, so I'm, before I put the switch back in, I'm just going to check my wiring here. Make sure I did it according to um, the, the picture uh, before I disconnected it. And then, too, guys, you know, another good way you can check this as well is to, um, you know, just double, just double check your wiring when you're done. Make sure you did it right. So, give me a... Okay. Alright, guys. We gotta move them up to the top here. Alright. Uh, Alright, guys. So, we're going to... You know, I'm gonna grab my uh, flat bit here to, um, you know disconnect these leads here see so I can see why this is not an easy job
All right, guys. See, as, as you guys can see, I'm just double checking my wiring here, and it looks like we are wired correctly. So, what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna we're actually the part two is gonna be installing the switch and testing it. So, anyway, so I hope you guys found that useful. Um, anyway, if you guys have any questions, just ask me, and I can I can show you guys what to do if needed. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, f please feel free to ask. I have no problem with you guys asking questions. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. And also, you guys can email me if you have any questions. So I will put my email in the description so you guys can email me with questions on how I did this. So anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Uh, I hope you guys have a very happy holidays, um, and also Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's to all of you. And uh, we'll see you in another video.